Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tell you a story that you're never going to hear in Narco, Netflix, American Made, Blow, any of those movies. It's a story about something that happened between Pablo Escobar and myself. So here it goes. I remember one time we we're bringing in about 800 kilos a month. And one day Pablo calls me and says, hey, doctor, because in Colombia, if you have a degree, you consider a doctor. He said, I got a plan. He says, I want to start charging for insurance. So I was very, very confused. I said, like, Pablo, what are you talking about? He says, you know, we charge people $7,000 a kilo to transport it from Colombia to America because a lot of times when we brought a load, we would, you know, split the risk. So let's say we're bringing in 1,000 kilos. We bring 500 that belong to us, and then we sort out the other 500 to different groups, 100 here, 150, 50, and that way they would pay $7,000 for the transportation. It was actually costing me less than 3,000, so ours would come in for free. So he said, yeah, I'm gonna charge people, tell them, listen, if you wanna be guaranteed that if anything happens to the load, buy insurance. Instead of paying seven, it's 10,000, and if the load is lost, you get every kilo back in Colombia. You know, I was perplexed because we had never lost a load. I said, Pablo, but we never lost a load. He said, that doesn't matter because every third load, we're going to tell people that, hey, it got lost. Then I was really, really perplexed. I said, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, every third load will tell them that it got lost. I'll return their cocaine here in Colombia to them for $2,000 a kilo that it was costing. They would not be mad. All their loss is about a month of time. But yet we have their 500 kilos in the United States that we can sell for 20 that cost us only 2000 and they took all the rest. You know, I thought about it and said, hey, I don't care what you do, but here's the deal. I will not participate in that. And he's like, well, what are you talking about? There's, no one gets hurt. I said, I understand that no one gets hurt. But you know what? It is a lie. See, I had drawn a very, very strong line that, and a strong belief that I told everyone that worked for my organization. Listen, no one ever gets killed for telling the truth. So he's like, I said, look, Pablo, I don't care if you charge 10, 15, 20. I don't care what story you give to people. They don't know who I am. But I'm just going to tell you that it's a lie. And if I participate in this lie today, what's going to happen tomorrow when someone tells you that I lie about you? You know, we went on. I have no idea how many loads and how many insurances he sold. But I'll tell you what happened about a year and a half later. I get a call from this guy who was one of the top hitmen for the cartel. And his name was Victor. He called me up and said, Doctor, I got to see you right now. It's urgent. You know, I noticed the hesitation on his voice. So I said, Victor, I'll meet you at Dayland Mall. So we went to Dayland Mall, went to a food court, got some food, and I said, what's, what's the problem? He says, I have enormous respect for you. You know, you've done tremendous favors for me, but I want to tell you that I was hired to kill you. I was shocked. I said, what are you talking about? He says, Pablo said, they put a contract on you. I said, contract, what have I done? He said, well, they said that you used one of their airstrips without asking them permission, and that's disrespect. I said, first and foremost, I have no clue what he's talking about. He said, remember that load that you brought in through Houston? I said, yes. He said, that airstrip belonged to Pablo you didn't ask him for it. I said, well, at the truth of the matter, I had no idea it belonged to Pablo. No one ever told me it belonged to Pablo. We were bringing it through Juarez. It was an operation there. So the pilot knew somebody with an airstrip in Houston and they used it. I said, get Pablo on the line. He calls Pablo and I said, I said, Pablo, I want to tell you just this thing simply. Number one, I had no idea that that was your airstrip. Number two, if I had an idea, I would have asked you for it and you would have given it to me because we've been working together for a long time. But number three, just remember this. I don't lie. I don't lie. You know this better than anybody else. He says, I'm sorry, hung up the phone, and it was over with. I tell you that story for this simple reason. Integrity matters. Truth matters. There is no alternative truth. Let people know that your word is your bond. And ask yourself, when I tell people that I'm going to do something, are you 100% convinced that they know you will do that? When you tell people you're never going to do something, are you 100% convinced you will never do that? I don't know. I've lived my whole life believing that. 
has helped me be 63 year old today. I'm talking to you today. So you know what? Truth does matter. Don't care what the media or politicians tell you. Truth will set you free.